Hello, I'm Dr. Michael Hyman. I wanted to talk to you today about cystoscopy and what that means, why we do it, how we do it, what it's like, and try to give you the sort of 411, so to speak. Cystoscopy, it really literally means scoping the bladder, cysto, bladder, scopy, looking inside the bladder. Um, and it's really one of the most common bread and butter evaluation procedures we do as urologists. And we almost always do these procedures in our office. It sounds scary. It sounds awful of an experience, but you have to understand that this type of test has gone through an evolution. We now use these little fiber optic tiny scopes. We can numb up the whole area so that it's really quite doable. Um, I'm gonna go into a little more detail on that in a minute, but let me just tell you why we do these tests. It's not just to look inside the bladder. A lot of people think, why would the doctor need to look in my bladder? Um, I just have a slow stream, I just need some medicine. But what you have to realize is that we're not just looking in your bladder, we're looking at a whole bunch of other stuff. We're looking at the entire pathway that leads up to your bladder, which is the urethra. We're looking at the inside of your prostate because the prostate surrounds the urethra and often compresses the urethra. And we have to see what that looks like. Um, in women, sometimes they're having lots of symptoms of urination, frequent, urgent, leakage, and we need to look inside both the urethra and the bladder to get a sense of what's going on. Sometimes we're looking for polyps in the bladder, which unfortunately are almost always cancerous. And we can almost 99% of the time tell you on the spot if that's what's really going on. Um, so let me just tell you real quick exactly how I do that test. Um, and also make a comment for those who have had it done in the past. A lot of times I'll get someone in the office, they'll say to me, oh, I had that done 10 years ago. It was awful. And that's always for me, you know, a little bit of a challenge to explain to them, it's not gonna be like that. And I can tell you that 99% of the time when I do a cystoscopy and probably 100% of the time that I do one on a repeat cystoscopy, people tell me, that just wasn't as bad as I was thinking. First of all, it's about 55 seconds, 55 seconds. But let's just go back a little further in terms of what you could experience. When we do the test, you come into the office, we have you lie flat on the table there. And then the first thing we're gonna do is put a little numbing gel, a little cool gel in the urethra, okay? So yes, in a man that's in through the little opening into the penis and in a female into the area in the vagina that goes to your bladder and you'll feel a very slight pressure in there, maybe a slight burn, but very slight. And we leave that in there for a good five minutes or so, sometimes a little longer, and that numbs it up unbelievably well. It's a lidocaine gel. And then I come into the room. We also, if you're really anxious, we offer a system called Pronox, which is basically a nitrous gas uh, that you can breathe, so it's a gas. And you can even drive yourself in, drive yourself out. For this procedure, you do not need to not have anything to drink or eat after midnight. You can eat that day. You can almost always drive that day. So there's really no restrictions. And you can use the gas if you need it. Um, it will not put you completely out, but it will help you feel really relaxed. It's, it's like laughing gas. And so then I'll pass that little catheter that's got a fiber optic tip lens into the urethra you almost will never feel it at that point, males and females. Where you might feel it, men that is, you might feel it when it's going into your prostate. It's gonna have that same pressure you experience when you have a rectal exam. Um, and that's pat beyond the point of the penile urethra. So we're all the way past the penis in the urethra. And then we look inside the bladder. I would look inside your bladder. And that part takes me about 20 seconds, I just wanna make sure the inner lining of the bladder is clean, no polyps, things like that. I'm gonna look at the ureteral orifices, which are the little openings that lead up to your kidneys, but I'm not going up to your kidneys. And then I'll take the scope right back out again. It'll just slide right out and that's it. So we're talking 55 seconds. It's very rarely anything more than that. And the majority of the patients afterwards will say, "Well, I was so much more anxious than what that really was. Afterwards, maybe the 
first or second time you urinate, you might feel a little burning when you urinate. We almost always give you an antibiotic and a, another medication that helps uh, sort of numb the urethra further from an oral pill. It'll turn it kind of orange, but it'll make it burn a lot less. Um, and that's basically it. Very, very easy, really. It's not a difficult thing to go through. Uh, so I just wanted to talk about cystoscopy and try to demystify it a little bit. Um, it's an, Again, it's a very important procedure um, for all kinds of reasons, for us to check the prostate, for us to check the bladder, ruling out cancer, um, all of those kinds of conditions. So hopefully if you have any more questions on that and you see me in consultation, we can discuss it some more. Thank you.